So hi and welcome to the final home invasion review and I'm ending it with a bang. Yes, I will be reviewing The Strangers Pray at Night. So it's from 2018. It's a collaboration between the US and Great Britain. It's directed by Johannes Roberts, written by Brian Bertino and Ben Katai. It's starring Christina Hendricks, Martin Henderson, Bailey Madison, Louis Pullman, Damien Maffei, Emma Bellamy, and Lilia Ensling. So, this sequel is about a family of four, and they are staying at these, this secluded mobile home park, and then suddenly uh, they are stalked and hunted by these three people wearing very specific masks. So if you've seen the first movie, you know exactly which masks I'm talking about. And when I first heard that they were doing a sequel, uh, I tried not to be overly excited, had no ex expectation, even though I thought the trailer looked really good. So I saw it at the cinema and I was so pleasantly surprised. The story and script is really, really good good. It's fast-paced, something always happens, and I think the best thing about this movie is definitely the soundtrack. It, it has like 80s uh, songs and an 80s style feel to it, and they have these specific scenes to each specific 80s song, and the movie just starts out with uh, King Wilde's uh, Kids in America, and it was the perfect way to start the film. And also they have this amazing, really uh, cool and well-made pool scene. And the song to that pool scene is Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart, which is one of my favorite songs ever. So when any movie or TV show has any Bonnie Tyler uh, in it, it's already a winner for me. But that pool song was so good, combined with that music, with the lyrics, and what happens in that scene is just amazing. And they also have Air Supplies Making Love Out of Nothing at All, which is also one of my favorite songs. I love that song, and they have it in this film, and it just fits so perfectly with what is going on. And then they also have Kim Wilde's Cambodia in uh, one of the mo uh, more creative killing scenes. So good. And also Damien Maffei, who is the man in the mask, he does such an amazing job. Even though he isn't speaking, you can only see his eyes through uh, that bag. But he, his expressions, just using his eyes, are perfect. You can kind of see what's going on inside his head uh, just by looking at his eyes. So he did that part really, really well. And I think uh, everyone did a really good job. It was fun seeing Christina Hendricks in this movie. And the family had some kind of internal issues. And I really cared for the entire family. So I really wanted to know what was happening. I was rooting for them. And yeah, I really think this movie is really, really good. I think it's so much better than the first movie, even though the first movie isn't a bad film. Uh, in my opinion, it's still a good film, but this sequel is just levels like so much better. So if you haven't seen uh, the sequel because you think, oh, it's a sequel, it probably won't be good. No, it, it's really, really amazing. And here is my edition of it. Uh, strangers pray at night. Here you see uh, the masks, which are really amazing looking. Yes. And I mean, the tension is so good in this film. It's always exciting. It keeps you on your toes. Yeah. And also it does have some bloody scenes, so you won't be disappointed. So I'm giving this movie a 9 out of 10. I've probably seen this film like seven or eight times at least. It's kind of a comfort movie at this point for me. So I can watch this movie at any point and still enjoy it as much. So that will do for my home invasion month. Hope you have been enjoying all of my home invasion review. Tomorrow I will be talking about the new theme and will re reveal the new banner. So you have to check out my video tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. 
Hope you'll have an amazing day and please like this video if you've enjoyed my home invasion month so far. So bye!